Hello YouTubers, it's Chris, K2CJB, and today we're going to be looking at um, a Slim Jim antenna that it's all over YouTube. A lot of people have uh, looked at it and reviewed it. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I got it, is because I saw all the reviews on YouTube and how favorable they were. This is the, the N9 TAX Tango Alpha X-Ray 2 meter, 70 centimeter Slim Jim antenna. And um, you know, I got it because I, I was thinking that a lot of times when I'm out in the parks or or even in my backyard, you know, my my radio that I use a lot is my little uh, my little Baofeng, Baofeng, uh, and um, I've got the Nagoya uh, higher gain antenna on it, but you know, there's still a lot of repeaters around here that I just can't reach. And I'm thinking I'm sitting in the backyard, I could always just string up something in the trees. For the price, um, it was actually cheaper to buy this one already made than to go ahead and get all the materials and put it together myself. It was actually cheaper to do this. So, so this is what I did. So here it is. This is the, um, the N9 TAX uh, Slim Jim antenna. So let's take a look. Here we got, here's the, uh, the shipping info. Great. And what I got was with the uh, extra coax added to, I guess 16 feet of coax on it. So, and the, um, and a BNC connector. So here we go. It's got a nice little uh, Velcro high. Oh, and that stays on the antenna. That's pretty cool. Yeah, here we go. Here it is. N9TAX.com. Dual band Slim Jim antenna. Wow, this is uh, this is really this is well made. <laughs> if I did this myself, it wouldn't come out this good. That I could tell you. <laughs> so um, nice. Well, um, hey, let's give it a whirl. Let's see how it works. Okay, so let's take a quick look at how it's constructed here. First, uh, first of all, we're in my operating position, which should be out here on the patio. <laughs> um, so anyway, so here we see, it's the matching unit right here, um, all heat shrink, tied off really nice and neat here. This is a heavy duty uh, window line here. This is a really good solid lateral line. This isn't, uh, it's not really, it's not junk, I can tell you that. Um, good piece of coax. Um, the other end of the coax, we've got the BNC, and you can see all heat shrink, beautiful. That's great workmanship. It's certainly something I probably would not have done on my own. I have it set up on my power pole. I uh, just tied off on the, the little log stand there, and there it is. I'll find a little hook that I just use for the center of my link dipole. I'm gonna hoist the antenna up now. Um, not all the way, and we'll give it a test. So first I'm going to attempt to bring up the repeater, the local club repeater, which from here, even with the Nagoya antenna, won't come up. See, we can, we can key it and it won't come up. So let's give it a shot with the, uh, with the, uh, the N9 TAX uh, Slim Jim. Okay, what I have now connected to the radio is I have one of those little pigtails. I picked it up at a ham fest a couple of weeks ago. And um, all right, let's see what we get now. Same repeater. And this is into the N9 TAX Slim Jim. Here we go. Good afternoon, 3.59 p.m. There you go. Beautiful. So, that means I can uh, sit out here on my patio, have a cigar, and I can operate the uh, local repeaters using the N9 TAX Slim Jim. So, thumbs up. I think it works great. Well worth the money. It's a great value, and um, it's, it's well built. Um, and I'm looking forward to, to, to breaking it out and uh, making some contacts on it. So there you go, the N9 TAX Slim Jim, it works. Uh, hey, if this video helped you and you think about buying that antenna, have any questions, leave a comment, leave me a thumbs up. And um, if you see any of my other videos and you, you like my little ham radio journal and subscribe to it, you'll get more of these little tidbits and my adventures as I go along. Until then, it's Chris, K2CJB73.